The Japanese stock market reacted positively to Buffett's investment in the country's trading houses, also known as Sogo Shosha. These are diversified conglomerates that deal in various commodities, energy, metals, and other businesses. Buffett bought 5% stakes in five of them, Itochu, Marubeni, Mitsubishi, Mitsui, and Sumitomo. He later increased his holdings twice in November 2022 and April 2023. Buffett's bet on Japan was seen as a vote of confidence in the world's third largest economy, which had been struggling with low growth, deflation, and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Buffett said he was attracted by the cheap valuations and the long-term prospects of the trading houses. He also praised their adaptability and resilience in changing market conditions. The Nikkei 225 Index, which represents the broad Japanese stock market, registered gains for five straight weeks after Buffett expressed his willingness to raise his exposures to the trading houses on April 10, 2023. The index increased by 8% and surged back to November 2021 highs. In comparison, the S&P 500 index only gained by 1% over the same time span. The trading houses also benefited from the global energy crisis, which boosted the demand and prices of fossil fuels. The trading houses have traditionally imported energy and metals for resource per Japan, but they have also been diversifying into other sectors such as healthcare, real estate, convenience stores, and renewables. However, the energy crisis prompted them to reconsider their plans to divest from fossil fuel assets and even explore new investments in natural gas. The Japanese government also supported the trading house's role in enhancing the country's energy security and supply. The government urged them to pause their divestment plans and increase their investments in natural gas projects around the world. The government also had a close relationship with the trading houses and often consulted them on diplomatic and economic issues. Buffett's investment in Japan was not only a financial move but also a strategic one. He may use his influence to steer the trading houses more toward fossil fuels, which he has been a consistent fan of despite criticism from environmentalists. He may also leverage his stakes to gain access to other opportunities in Japan and Asia, such as technology, infrastructure, and consumer markets. In summary, Buffett's investment in Japan's trading houses was a catalyst for the rise of the Japanese stock market in 2021 and 2022. It signaled his confidence in the country's economy and the trading houses' businesses. It also coincided with the global energy crisis, which boosted the profitability and relevance of the trading houses. Moreover, it aligned with the Japanese government's interests and goals in ensuring energy security and supply. Finally, it opened up new possibilities for Buffett to expand his presence and influence in Japan and Asia. Warren Buffett is known for his value investing strategy, which involves buying undervalued stocks that have strong fundamentals and long-term growth potential. In August 2020, Buffett revealed that he had invested $6 billion in five Japanese trading companies, also known as Sogo Shosha, Mitsubishi, Mitsui, Sumitomo, Itochu, and Marubeni. These companies are diversified conglomerates that deal in various businesses such as energy, metals, machinery, chemicals, food, and logistics. Buffett compared them to Berkshire Hathaway itself, saying that they have similar interests and a focus on cash flow. But how did Buffett's investment influence other investors and analysts to view Japan's stocks more favorably? And what are the future prospects for Japan's economy? One possible answer is that Buffett's investment signaled his confidence in Japan's recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and its long-term growth potential. Japan has been struggling with low growth, deflation and an aging population for decades, but it has also shown resilience and innovation in the face of challenges. Japan has managed to contain the virus relatively well compared to other countries and has launched a massive stimulus package to support its economy. Japan is also a leader in sectors such as robotics, electronics, automobiles and renewable energy, which could benefit from the global shift to digitalization and green technology. 
Another possible answer is that Buffett's investment highlighted the attractive valuation and dividend yield of Japan's trading companies. These companies have been trading at low multiples compared to their global peers and their own historical averages, despite having strong balance sheets and stable earnings. They also pay generous dividends, with an average yield of around 4%. Buffett's investment may have prompted other investors to reevaluate these companies and recognize their value proposition. A third possible answer is that Buffett's investment boosted the reputation and credibility of Japan's trading companies. These companies have been transforming their business models in recent years, shifting from traditional trading activities to more value-added services and investments. They have also been expanding their global presence and partnerships, especially in emerging markets such as China, India, and Southeast Asia. Buffett's investment may have validated their strategic vision and enhanced their bargaining power with customers and suppliers. The future prospects for Japan's economy depend on many factors, such as the pace of vaccination, the outcome of the upcoming elections, the relations with China and the US, and the structural reforms needed to address its demographic and fiscal challenges. However, some analysts are optimistic that Japan can achieve a sustained recovery and growth in the post-pandemic era, driven by its strong corporate sector, its technological edge, and its potential role as a regional leader. Buffett's investment may have been a catalyst for more foreign capital inflows into Japan's stock market, which could further support its economic revival.